here we are, it's the end of February. We're now reaching the peak of the whole car build programme. All of our testing are near its completion. We've been to the filming day in Silverstone, we've been testing in Bahrain, and we're now into the final touches of the programme. This involves painting the car to the correct livery and making sure all the components that ultimately we'll go racing with are completed and shipped off to the race. This is the peak and the most exciting part of the programme. Let's show you some more. So here we are at the end of February, um, looking back at a very, very busy month for us at HPP. We start February with lots of dyno running, making sure that the specification of the power unit is robust and reliable, and also that we've got all the performance that we can. And then by the middle of the month, we're already into sending PUs to the track test. So get the engines ready, get the uh, uh, earth systems ready, get the batteries ready, and get those off by about the middle of February. Those, those were leaving the factory. And then it was uh, into track test. Lots of test requests, lots of tests at the circuit, checking the temperatures of the PU in the cars, and doing all of that sort of work, and, and just getting ourselves really ready for, uh, for the first race. We are Goods In and Stores. Uh, we're responsible for receipting every single part that comes into the company, from pens, paper pads, all the way up to halos, hands devices, uh, gearbox parts. During February, build ramps up and Goods In receives every single part of the car that's made externally. From our point of view, speed and accuracy is key. We know that any mishaps here could lead to reliability issues on the car. February is the busiest time for us because we have to filter a lot of components through inspection. They are inspected to microns and we have to check all components that go eventually to the car. Because of the sheer amount of quantity of components that make a Formula One car, we cannot get all these components through at the right time or through together. So we need to always prioritise the components through inspection in terms of how we build the car and this ranges from all assemblies. So during February we're working on our car assemblies, checking the reliability, testing them, signing them off before we bring them together to make and build the race car. So then we move on to quantities. We have to build two race cars and supply a package of spares that will support the race team over the race weekend. So this all needs to be built and packed before the deadline for the first race leaving. So in the off season for the paint shop, it's probably the busiest part of the year for us. At the curtain closure in Abu Dhabi, everything gets packed up, shipped back to the factory. So the first job is to refresh all of the pit equipment. If you see it on TV and it's silver, black or shiny, chancellor, are, we painted it here in Brackley. So once all the pit gear is refreshed, it leads us into February most of the time. So February is a really busy period for us. It leads up to the launch, leads up to the first test in Bahrain, and eventually the first race the week after that. It's generally the time we start receiving all of the new components to build the new car. So most of the time is spent talking to marketing, communicating back and forth about the new livery, what we're going to do, how is it going to be applied, and all the parts start to turn up. We start preparing them for paint, we get them into paint, get them stripped, get them to launch, and that's the exciting time for us. We spend months waiting to see this part hit the track. I think February is one of the most important parts of the season for, for us, particularly in the, in the paint shop. Our department works really closely with design, so they, they have changes at the drop of a hat. And what you see at the start of January isn't always what you see on launch day. Everything changes constantly. We send so much out to so many races. You can be up to your neck in bodywork and stickering and, and spraying for weeks and it never seems like it comes to an end but when we see the car roll out of the garage on launch day that makes it all worth it because it makes you so proud everybody does their own bit but it all matters in the collateral shoots it's where we collect much of the sort of base material that we use throughout the year for the communications and the marketing activation around the team and also with our partners so the drivers are running through pretty intense and long days of photo shoots and video shoots to capture content that then gets used all the way through the season. So really, really crucial foundations and obviously also key content for our social media channels ahead of the team launch. And then that's the really exciting day pre-season where we get to share the car and show everybody's hard work to the world. 
always exciting to be part of. A little bit nerve-wracking because it's a live show, but we work with a great team at Genesis Media Productions who deliver that for us year on year in a brilliant way. So once we've launched the car, we can then start the testing. And that begins with a filming day, which is essentially a shakedown, it's 100 kilometers, but it's really important for the whole team because it's the first time that they can see all those months and months of hard work come together to make this product roll out on track. Now, the really important bit of that is that it allows you to get ready for those vitally important three days of testing. Once that test is over, we'll have collected a huge amount of data and the processing of that goes on over the next few days. There's not long between that test and the first race and you're trying to learn as much as you can to be ready for qualifying and for the race itself.